Welcome to the Chinese Language Center of Soochow University. This is the map of Weishuangxi Campus. The dormitory is located next to the first academic building. The Chinese Language Center building is also referred to as the S Building. The number 557 bus stop is located in front of the field. You can take the 557 bus to Xilin, where you can easily access the MRT station. The timetable is in the student manual. Please refer to it for further information. To go to the Jianan Road MRT station, you'll have to leave the campus to get the bus. The routes for these buses can be found in the manual. You can find the on-campus restaurant, post office and health centre in building B. The following slides introduce the Chinese Language Centre members. This is a map of the Taipei metro system. The names of the bus stops are Dongwu Dashue, Dieyun Shirinjiang, Jieyun Jianan Lujiang. The Shirin MRT station is on the red line. It is the closest station that you can access from the school. To reach a department store, you can take a bus to the Jianan Road MRT station. This station is located on the brown line, which goes to the zoo. Please swipe your card slash easy card on the machine when you get on and off of the bus. Accommodation rules. The reception is open on weekdays from 5 p.m. until 12 a.m. In the case of late night emergencies, please contact the resident advisor who can be found in room S211 on the second floor. Visitors are only allowed to stay in the lounge and they must leave before 11 p.m. They are only allowed to enter other rooms when assisting with the moving of heavy objects or repairing a computer. Visitors are allowed to visit your room briefly if necessary. No visitors can stay overnight. You cannot enter a room of anyone who is of the opposite sex. An easy card is the most efficient way to pay for your train fares, as you can swipe them when you enter and leave the train platform so it is recommended to purchase one from a convenience store or at an MRT station. After purchasing it, you can contact the Chinese Language Center office, who will then register it on the system so you can use it to enter and leave the dormitory. In case of an emergency, please use the emergency exits. Press the call for help buttons located in the hallway on each floor. You should always keep your valuables in a safe place or keep them with you whenever you leave your room. Locking the door when you leave is strongly advisable. For residents who are up late at night, please consider the courtesy of others and keep noise to a minimum. Please refrain from raising your voice or talking on the phone in the hallway and on the stairs. After 11 p.m., please do not go to the roof. The cleanliness of your room is your own responsibility. Please keep your own room clean during your stay. Smoking is strictly prohibited everywhere in the dormitory. If you wish to smoke, please smoke in the designated smoking areas on the campus. Drugs and weapons are not allowed in the dormitory. Possessing such items is a serious criminal offence and you may face jail time. Garbage and recycling lots are located close to the dormitory. Please separate and dispose of garbage and recyclable garbage, respectively. Do not leave your personal belongings in public places. Any belongings that have been left for more than one day will be confiscated. At check-in, please double-check the condition of your room facilities. Please note the condition on the inventory and inform the Chinese Language Centre office if anything is damaged upon arrival. After submitting the inventory, any damage to any of the furniture in your room will incur a charge. You will be designated a desk in your room. This room and desk is your own space. Due to management reasons, you must not swap a room with anyone. This includes swapping furniture, such as bedding, etc. Do not engage in any kind of physical or verbal violence. Anyone who does so will be punished accordingly. You are not allowed to get drunk to the point where you're causing a disturbance. Stealing from others and keeping a pet is also prohibited. 
Feel free to use all of the equipment and facilities in the kitchen. Please clean all peripherals after use. The rules for the kitchen can be found on top of the fridge. Please follow the guidelines and maintain a clean environment. If you need any help with your Chinese learning, you can find volunteers who are always willing to help you and answer any questions you may have in room S114. Their schedules will be posted on the wall next to the room. This is a free service. Computer lab rules. You are not allowed to consume any food or beverage in the computer room. During busy times, students who need to write a report or print documents take priority using the facilities in the computer room. Please do not download any dangerous or install any material on the machines. Put the chair back in its place after use. Contact the RAs at the reception if there is an issue with the printer. The computer room is open 24-7. Study room rules. No food and beverage and no occupying seats. Stay quiet. Always keep personal belongings with you, especially your laptop. The study room in Fengyao Hall is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The post office can be found on the ground floor of the B building. When you get packages or letters sent to you, please give the sender the address as seen on the screen. You can also refer to page 11 in the manual for the address later. The hours for the library and the gym are displayed on the screen. When entering the library, scan the barcode on your student ID to bypass the barrier. If you need to take out any books in the library, please contact a CLC staff member. If you need any medical information, you can go to the health center in room B214 on the second floor. For any urgent health issues, please go to a clinic or hospital. The information is displayed on the screen. You can also refer to your manual for more information. Students who wish to open a bank account can do so at a respective post office or bank. In order to open a bank account, you will need an ID number, which you can receive at the immigration agency. You can go to the CLC office for directions. The documents required to open a bank account is displayed on the screen. More information can also be found in the manual. An FR visa holder who enters Taiwan as a Chinese learner is not permitted to engage in any work or part-time work in Taiwan. If you break the law, you may be deported back to your country. Students who study Chinese for more than one year can apply for a work permit. After obtaining this permit, you can do part-time work. Starting from your second quarter, the tuition fees will be reduced by 20%. If you apply and register for the TOEFL test through the CLC, you can receive a 10% discount. Please like our Facebook page, join the group and follow our Instagram. The latest announcements and information will be posted on these websites. The visa required for learning Chinese in any Chinese language center is called the FR visa. The FR visa has two types, single and multiple. FR visa holders with single entries cannot leave Taiwan. If you do so, your visa will become invalid. Multiple entry visa holders can leave and re-enter Taiwan as many times as they want before the visa expires. The length of the FR will be either 60 or 90 days. Regardless of which one you have, you need to extend your visa before its expiration date. The FR visa takes effect on the day after you have entered Taiwan. Make sure that you go to the National Immigration Agency to do the extension two weeks before your visa expires. Please go to the CLC office to receive the required documents for your extension. You can also refer to your manual for the required documents. After you have studied in the CLC for more than 120 days and have enrolled in the following quarter, you can apply for a resident visa at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. You can then apply for an ARC at the National Immigration Agency within 15 days of receiving your resident visa. After holding an ARC for 180 days, you are eligible to apply for national health insurance. After studying Chinese in Taiwan for more than one year, you can apply for a work permit with the CLC office's approval. Please note that extending your visa ARC 
and work permit is your own responsibility. The CRC will not be responsible for any late applications or delays to your application once you have submitted it. If you do find yourself applying for an extension late, you may need to pay up to an additional 2,000 Taiwanese dollars. Depending on the severity, you may also need to leave and re-enter Taiwan. Your attendance record may also influence your visa extension. Do not be absent for more than 13 hours per quarter. That's a quarter of your classes, a quarter.